Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about how to take down your knotless braids that you've had in for some time now. You wanna make sure that when you're taking down your braids, you're not cutting your hair, sis. I know that the knotless braids have become extremely, extremely popular in today's time, so I thought why not go ahead and make a takedown video because you're gonna have to take them down, especially during quarantine, you know, quarantine finna be over in just a couple of weeks I know they lifting things but I know a couple of us we're gonna stay inside for a while so once they lift things we're gonna want to go out we're gonna want to have a cute new look you know to sport maybe you want to throw on a wig maybe you want to rock your natural whatever the case may be I'm here to get you together sis and make sure that when you are doing your knotless braid takedown you are not cutting your hair because I know that you do not want to cut your hair not the hair that you took all your hard work and all your hard time to sit and grow up out of your head no ma'am no sir so I just thought I would come at y'all with this video today I am leave it to Kire and my channel is about beauty fashion lifestyle I provide you with the real I do not sugarcoat anything and we can also get to know each other chit chat all of that I'm super excited to get to know all of you all throughout the entire world make sure that you comment below let me know what city you're from also let me know if you recently got a knotless install let me know your experience with the knotless install if you love your stylist make sure that you shout your stylist out put your stylist on the map i'm all about putting other people on supporting small businesses so with that being said let's stop all the talking let's get into the video y'all for today's video you're going to need some scissors a scrunchie or a hair clip a rat tail comb with preferably a metal ending if you do just have a regular rat tail comb that's fine as well also if you do have a regular comb at your leisure that's fine as well whatever you have to work with will work but this will work the best okay so I'm gonna begin by separating my hair into two and then I'm going to separate the other side you can choose whichever side you want to start with into two as well two equals and I'm going to take, you know what, I'm gonna start with the front so y'all can see it better. I'm going to take just one section and pin it back and get it out of my way. And I'm just gonna leave this section over here just to chill out for a second. We come into you, just give us a second. So we're gonna start with this first section that we have sectioned off in the front or the back, whichever is comfortable for you to start with. And we're gonna start with something that I like to call a takedown test. So I'm gonna separate this section into two and I'm gonna take one braid from the middle of the section. Just one braid, that's all you need to start with. And you're gonna eyeball this braid and you're gonna look and see where your hair looks the frizziest. Wherever your hair is more frayed out of the braid at, that is where your hair is going to be ending. And once you no longer see your hair being frayed out, that means that your hair is not down at the end of that braid. So you can go ahead and cut right there. So I'm, I'm gonna come a little bit closer so y'all can see. So you see right there how my hair is kind of frayed and coming out of the knotless braid. You want to make sure that you cut right underneath where that ending is. So as I go up, I have no more frayed hair coming out of the braid. So I know that it'll be safe to cut in this area. This is the frayed hair. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right underneath where the frayed hair is. And this piece you're just gonna toss into the bag that you have. Also make sure that you have a bag or a trash can nearby because this could get messy without it, okay? So now that I have that one braid cut, I'm gonna put the scissors down. I don't wanna accidentally cut any hair. With this takedown process, it's super important that you are watching what you are doing, how you are maneuvering through your braids, and if you have scissors in your hand, put them down if you're not using them because you could accidentally cut your hair. And that's what we're trying to avoid. That's the whole point of this video, okay? So now that I have that piece right there, I'm going to show it to y'all up close so y'all can see where I cut it at. So as you can see, I left about a half an inch underneath where the frayed part of my hair is. 
I did this purposely because I just want to make sure that I leave room for any type of error even if I do have like a small strand of my hair still coming down I know that I'm protected just by cutting at least a half an inch underneath where my hair comes out at okay so now you want to take your red tail comb and this is why I said it's important to have this metal tip because it's gonna make it easier for you to take down your braid if not then it's okay if you use a regular comb as well so I'm gonna go ahead and puncture right in between where the braid is and I'm gonna do this repeatedly moving upward otherwise if you don't have a comb and you're taking down with your fingers, this is how you're going to be taking down. And it's going to be piece by piece and it's going to take you a really long time. So that's why I recommend that you do go ahead and use a comb. Again, if you don't have the rat tail metal comb, if you have a regular rat tail comb, that's fine. Or if you have a regular comb, that's fine as well. But I just wanted to demonstrate to y'all exactly how it would look if you were to take down the braid with your fingers without a comb. Because I know sometimes you just can't find a comb. So this is how you would take it down if you do not have a comb. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to uh, continue to take it down with the rat tail comb. As you can see knotless braids are layered so you're gonna have some of the hair begin to come out and knotless braids are layered so that they can get skinnier at the bottom they start off a little bit thicker at the top and then they get skinnier at the bottom the ones that i have they just decided to do them super small but they do start off a little bit thicker at the top and at some point you might need to use your fingers that's okay to get through those rough spots and as you can see so far, I have none of my hair coming out. All that I've taken out so far is the synthetic braiding hair. None of my hair has come out during this process. And this is just the test braid, guys, just so you can see exactly where you would like to cut. And before I'm completely done taking this braid down, I'm going to go ahead and section this off into two and I'm gonna cut it according to how long this first test braid is I don't want to take away from the length that I currently have I'm gonna go ahead and cut the remainder of this first portion that we sectioned off I'm just gonna section it off into two and I'm gonna start with the back portion you can start with the front whichever works for you so now I have the test braid that we almost completed taking down and I have the section in the back that I just sectioned off I sectioned the hair into two we're gonna place it on top of the section that we just sectioned off and we're gonna get our scissors in our hand and we're going to look now before you just get to cutting I want you to look I want you to really look at the hair and make sure that underneath where the test braid is that you see no frayed hair of yours coming out of the knotless braid so remember what we talked about earlier how you can see the frayed braid that's what you do not want to see underneath where the test braid is and let me get closer for y'all so y'all can really see this so this is my test braid and I placed it on top of this section and now I'm gonna just pinch off that section and I'm gonna look all around this entire section you want to look around this entire section that you have in your hand and you want to make sure be 100% sure please be 100% sure that you do not have any of your hair peeking out from the knotless braid so once you do that and you examine you examine <laughs> Then you want to take your scissors. Then you want to take your scissors. And you want to go ahead and cut right underneath. Give yourself that half an inch like we said earlier. Give yourself that half an inch of wiggle room just in case. And cut underneath. 
and look, I'm still looking. <laughs> That's how cautious, because y'all, when I tell you, I cut my hair when I was in the fifth grade one time, and that was the worst experience that I never want to relive. Like, I just was in a rush to take my braids down, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just take it down. So I'm, I just got to cutting my hair. Y'all, my whole head was chopped up, chopped up, <laughs> okay? So I do not want to relive that experience. So that's why I'm super, super tedious when it comes to my braid takedown. And I thought, why not make a video so that y'all can be just as aware of how tedious this process is and how serious you should take it, okay? That's why I'm here to drop this video, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors now that I've triple, quadruple examined. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut. Remember, I gave myself that uh, that half an inch wiggle room, and you just cut. Now you have that entire section. If you would like to go and examine this section as well at the top to ensure that you do not see any frayed hairs of yours peeking out, I see none. All I see is synthetic, so I'm extremely happy that... I paid attention to what I was doing, okay? And I want y'all to do the same thing. So now that you have that section done, it's no need to do another test. You know that you're good because you did your test braid. So you're gonna take your test braid and maneuver it over into the first section that you have not cut yet. And you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're just gonna repeat exactly what we just did. I'll say this again, when you're not using the scissors, put them down put them down what you want to do is take that test braid place it right on top once again and then you want to pinch right where the test braid ends examine around the knotless braids look through them completely to ensure that you do not have any frayed hairs of yours coming out of the knotless braid. Once you've done that and you've examined, as you can see, I have no frayed hairs coming out. Once you've done that, I'm comfortable with cutting. So remember, you also wanna give yourself that half an inch wiggle room just in case, okay? In this process, you wanna just in case, <laughs> for real. So when you're cutting it, just take your time with it. You don't, you don't gotta be in a rush to cut it. Cut it slowly. If you'd like to do a double test, you can then examine this portion of the hair fully to ensure that you have no frayed hairs of yours peeking out of the knotless braid. If you do, that means that you have cut your hair. And I'm so sorry. I really tried to help you. I really tried to help you as much as I could. And if you did cut your hair, it's okay. It's just hair. It's just hair. It grows back. So don't, don't cry about it because trust me, I've cut my hair plenty of times and I've cried about it and it's okay. And my hair grew back months later. Like, it's okay. Just let it go, sis. It's okay. Now that I have triple, quadruple examined this section of hair, I'm going to throw it away. So now we have the first section completed and this is what it's looking like. So you see, we went from... This length, let me let me show y'all how long these braids are. So we went from waist length braids to now shoulder length, about shoulder length braids to take down. Imagine if you didn't cut this side, y'all. You would be doubling your takedown time. Like, I'm just trying to tell you. Who wants to double their takedown time? It's long enough. It's long enough. So we try to cut it down as short as we possibly can by cutting it and making it a lot easier, okay? You want to move over to the next section, and you want to do the same thing. So you have to do a test braid for each and every section, guys. You cannot just do one test braid for the entire head and think that that one test braid is going to work. And I want you to know why you cannot do that. Because that test braid is only the length of your hair for that particular section. So each section, your hair is a different length. I'm trying to get you as close as possible to the same amount of length that you have in each section. Your hair, unfortunately, is not the exact same length 100% around your hair. 
Now, if I'm wrong and you feel like I'm wrong, leave me a comment below and let me know. Correct me. But if I'm right, let me know I'm right too. Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. So you want to take the section that you have in the back, split it into two evenly, and you want to take the braid that is located in the middle. I'm going to use this braid. Before you grab your scissors, before you grab your scissors, you're going to examine this braid thoroughly and I'm gonna get y'all close so y'all can examine with me so so far you can see my hair peeking out and it's not peeking out down here so it's coming out up here but it's not coming out down here so this means this is where my hair ends this is where I want to cut the test braid remember before you cut the test braid you want to make sure that you cut a half an inch below okay so I have it cut I'm going to examine the bottom and then I'm gonna grab my rat tail comb or my regular comb or I'm gonna just grab my fingers whatever you have and you're just gonna begin to take down. You're just puncturing between and you're pushing downward. And as you get further up the knotless braid, you're gonna start to see pieces come out because knotless braids are layered. And they're layered to give them a layered look to go from thick at the top and small at the bottom. So now we have reached the point in my knotless braid where I'm starting to have some of the synthetic hair come out. We wanna separate that into the trash can. Do the pull test to see if you have any extras. And then at this point you wanna just stop because you don't wanna start taking out too much of the synthetic hair because you want to make sure that you keep it the same length to where your hair ended. My hair is right here. It's the most frizziest part. <laughs> I can tell. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference. But um, my hair is a little bit frizzier. It's right here. And then the synthetic hair is right behind it, right here. So now that I have my test braid for this section, I'm gonna section this section into two, like so. And then I'm gonna grab a hold to my test braid for this section, and I wanna place it right on top of the section that I've sectioned off. Like that. And then I wanna examine. And then I'm gonna pinch right underneath where that test braid ends. So once I have that, then I can go ahead and pick up my scissors. And once I have my scissors, I'm gonna give myself about an inch wiggle room, remember? And then you wanna slowly cut. You just wanna toss that portion in the trash. Put your scissors down. You don't need them for right now. <laughs> and then, if you want to examine again, take that section, examine, make sure that you do not have any frayed portions of your hair coming out at the end of this section. So as you can see, this is the test braid right there, and then you do not see any of my hair peeking out of the bottom whatsoever. So now this section is done, and you want to bring that other section that you had to the forefront and you want to find that test braid and you can tell the test braid from the other braids because you took the test braid down partially already after doing that you're gonna pinch right below where that test braid is grab your scissors take your scissors give yourself about a half an inch wiggle room and start cutting okay y'all see that cut cut perfectly and I took my time and also you do not see any frayed ends any frayed hair in between it's all straight hair 
so that means it's synthetic not to say the synthetic hair doesn't curl up because it does curl up a bit but my hair it will be a lot more frizzy you can tell the difference between your real hair and the knotless braid so now you want to take your scissors put them right back on the counter take that section throw it in the trash so now you are completely done with cutting your first section on your left or your right side, whichever side you started with, whichever side was most comfortable for you. And you can go ahead and start your takedown process. Remember I showed y'all how to put the comb inside of the zigzag, puncture inside, go down, and maneuver your way up. So that's how you're taking your braids down for the remainder of your head. And once you get to the top, you're going to have more of the synthetic hair start to come out simply because knotless braids are layered, as previously explained. And yeah, you're going to do the same exact thing that you did to your left, to your right, or your right to your left, whichever side you started with. I'm not going to show y'all how to do this side because you're just going to do the same exact thing that you did on this side. Split it into two. Split it into two. <laughs> Get a braid in the middle. Test braid. Examine. And look for where your hair is frayed out. And where it ends. Mine ends right here. So I would take my scissors and cut and use this test braid to cut each small section from that split section that you split in the back. And that's it. That's it. Y'all saw how to do it. If you need a refresher on how to complete this process, all you have to do is rewind. You can save this video. You can bookmark it. You can add it to a playlist. You can add it to a watch later. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more hair videos, if y'all would like to see twist out videos, comment below if you would like to see wash day videos. Um, if you would like to see how I do my deep condition days, all of that. Make sure you comment below because your girl loves her hair and I know y'all love y'all hair too. So I'm here to get y'all together and get us all together, period. <laughs> but um, thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope to come back to y'all with even more videos similar to this one as well as other videos that I have planned for the channel. I'm so excited for this journey that y'all have now joined me on. And I just wanna say thank you, my loves. I love you, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family and your loved ones during this time and just know that we are going to get through it together make sure that you take a moment to go follow me on Instagram I'll leave my Instagram at right here I am very very active on Instagram I like to post my cooking recipes what I'm cooking for the day when I'm working out fitness motivation all types of things so if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of what leave it to curate has to offer and behind the scenes then you got to tune in to my IG story okay also I will be announcing certain things on my Instagram story that I might not announce on YouTube I do plan on doing specific giveaways for my IG story followers because I feel like my IG story followers have been so loyal to me I feel like they've been with me they've been supporting me and I just want to do something really nice to give back to them so if you would like to be a part of my IG story loves make sure that you go follow me on Instagram and tune into my stories you might see something that you might like okay thank you my loves I'll see y'all next time Mwah.